You know that embarrassing MP3 you have on your phone? Well, turns out you're stuck with it forever. Early last month, Apple filed a patent that would allow users to resell iTunes content to others at a discounted rate. Kind of like how you can sell used CDs and DVDs to places like Amazon for a couple of extra bucks. Well, according to a new ruling from a US district court judge, reselling of digital music is illegal. I know, it's a bummer, right? The partial ruling stems from a lawsuit between Capitol Records and Redigi. Never heard of Redigi? Well, they're a tiny little startup that claims to be the world's first pre-owned digital marketplace. It basically works like this. You upload your songs to Redigi's cloud, where it verifies your songs to make sure you actually bought them. Then, when someone buys your song, you get credits to spend in Redigi's store. And even though the songs are on the secondary market, Redigi claims the artists will somehow still get their fair share of the profits on the secondhand sale, which Redigi claims is all good, hiding behind the first sale doctrine, which allows stores like GameStop to resell previously owned physical copies of games and movies. But unfortunately, the courts view digital versions of the same media as something completely different, and therefore is not protected under the first sale doctrine. The judge in the case basically said that you can't resell a digital media file unless the original copyright owner gives you explicit permission to do so. So, has the idea of an all digital pawn shop been killed off before it can even start? And what could this ruling mean for the future, especially with physical DVDs and CD sales in decline? We'll find out more on April 12th when both sides return to court. Do you guys think this ruling kills the idea of digital reselling, or is this a knee-jerk reaction that will eventually be overturned as the media industry evolves to accept a new revenue stream they once viewed as a threat? Let me know in the comments below. And please, have a heart. Subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying I hope it gets overturned so I can sell my digital copy of Taylor Swift's Red. That's right, I own Red. I'm not proud, but I bought it. Mostly as a joke to piss off Annie. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22.